Welcome to Sneetjet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import an image and print that image. So, as in our previous videos, it's going to be done from the Edit menu, and we're going to select Edit Single File. Now, before I move any forward, I want to just say that in order, so we're going to store that onto a USB drive, and in order for the printer to see that, it needs your image needs to be converted into a monochrome bitmap file or .bmp. You can do this through pretty much any kind of imaging or art software. Something as simple as a, a Microsoft Paint will do the job. So I've already done that, and it's important that you save that file onto the Surface directory of your USB drive, not into its own folder or anything like that, or the printer will not see it. So I've already gone through and done that. We're going to insert this into the USB port here, and I'm going to select Image. Now, once I do that, you'll see I have some other options here and the word no image. We're going to select load. These are a couple images that are already saved to the printer, but we want to use one that's not saved yet. We'll select U-Disk and you'll see I have several different images to choose from. So we'll go ahead and pick this Sneedjet Titan logo. And I'm going to press to local. What this does is saves it to the local hard drive so I no longer need to use this USB drive in order to print the image. So I've done that. Select load and you'll see Sneedjet logo Titan is there now. So I'll select this and press OK. And now we have this Sneedjet Titan logo. Now it's a little small for me. I want this to be larger than it is. So it can be a little slow, and sometimes I may re I recommend trying to enlarge this image through whatever computer software you're using there. Um, but this isn't too bad for now. And you'll see we've increased the size of this. Now, as before, we can slide it around the screen. We have our X and Y coordinates to make minor adjustments to that movement for exact positioning and the rotate button to move it around. We don't need to do any of that. And we can hit File and Save. Let's call it Titan Logo. Oh, there it is right at the top. And now we're ready to print that or print our logo. Thank you for watching.